blueberry baked oats for breakfast is my new favorite thing in the world look at that guys it tastes exactly like cake yet it has no sugar no sweetener no flour no eggs and it's filled with protein mm. I would literally spend 15 minutes meal prepping it the night before, bake it, and then it gives me about five servings, put it in the fridge, and dig into it every single morning. Look at that gooeyness. Hi guys, and welcome back to my vlog channel. Today is Friday, and the theme of this vlog is going to be slow productivity. One, because I am exhausted. Two, because I've been pushing myself very, very hard. And three, because we're all about just honoring our needs over here. And in order to like enter our rich girl era and achieve all of the goals we put on our vision board, we also need to balance our self-love and our self-care in there. And this is what that kind of day would look like for me. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm definitely gonna do more of these vlogs when I have a greater capacity to do nicer things to myself. But right now I don't, so this is like, how I'm just coping. Long story short, I've been going to bed at midnight to 1am every single night this week because I am writing the book up until midnight slash 1am every single day this week. Um, and last night was no exception. So I woke up at 8am this morning, didn't have it in me to go to the gym. So I decided to just do my alternate morning routine, got showered, got ready, did my meditation, had a little dance to my music. And I've made a breakfast that I'm excited about and a cute little drink to just sit and spend like, 10 minutes just relaxing and easing into my day. I'm so excited. By the time you guys are watching this vlog, I'm probably completing the book. It's probably gonna be done. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And you know, even though I'm tired, I feel so grateful to just be able to do this in the first place. Like, yes, it is definitely one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do, but it's something I've always wanted to do. So I do feel very happy. I'm just pushing through and I'm having to go through a little bit of a disciplined work, work, work routine. Today we're having a little bit of a change in pace. If you don't know what slow productivity is, this is basically spending a little bit more time on your work tasks, getting rid of the need to rush, getting rid of the need to be perfect, you know, wake up at 5 a.m., go to the gym, do all of that stuff, which I love to do. And I have done many, many times, but on a day like this, I can't do it. And the reason for that is I would rather wake up a little bit later have a nice slow morning routine full of enjoyment and then ease into my work tasks for the rest of the day because when I honor my needs like that I am then creating a more sustained work mode the purpose of this is to ensure that you don't burn out so that you can work consistently for longer periods of time because you are alternating your daily routine to how you're actually feeling and what your capacity is rather than forcing yourself to be in hustle mode every single day that is exactly why I haven't even put on a cute outfit today no glam, but it's fine. It's good. I am gonna sit down, slowly enjoy my breakfast and my coffee before we get into work. little relaxing breakfast moment did the dishes cleaned up the kitchen and then I quickly just filmed some content for a brand that I'm partnering with as well so I had to do that little bit of work while I was taking my supplements and just sorting myself out before we jump into the first work block of the day I'm going to do my last task of my alternate more relaxing morning routine which is journaling and I think today I'm just going to do a quick one just because I really do need to jump into work and spend the entire day doing that. So I am gonna make this a gratitude journal rather than more of like a diary entry, which is what I tend to do normally. As a bare minimum thing, you gotta be grateful. You gotta raise your vibration, especially when you're just trying to grind every single day. Because happiness doesn't come with achieving a goal. Happiness should be created every single day regardless of where you are at. all done and now we are going to hop into the first work block of the day i have many many things and i also have a meeting at 11 30 so we don't have long 
I have so, so many tasks to do today, but when I have a busy day like this and I feel like my routine is very just jumbled and out of the window and very focused on like prioritizing the urgent work tasks I have to do, I like to start my day with something that's extracurricular just so it's done, it's out of the way. And for the rest of the day, I go through the day feeling more accomplished knowing I did that. So I'm gonna do a Skillshare class. So I'm gonna spend like 45 minutes working through this learning path that I am about to start. It's called Master Management Skills to Build and Retain Talented Teens. And there is a very important reason as to why I'm doing this. Um, some of you may know if you've been watching the previous vlogs that I'm currently in the process of expanding my team. Actually already hired a few people. So my team is like, four, five people large now, which is crazy. Um, and next week I have the final interviews for my assistant that I'm also gonna be hiring. And this is just a huge change for me. I have no previous experience or knowledge in this area of like managing other people and telling them what work to do for the day. And it makes me nervous. And Skillshare always comes through with filling the gaps in my knowledge. So I'm taking this learning path because the classes look perfect for me. It's showing you how to manage a team, how to boost productivity within your team, what approach you need to use to get the best from each team member and how to balance well-being and self-care within that world. The learning paths on Skillshare are a group of hand-picked classes that are meant to be taken in order. Each of these classes basically build up on each other to reinforce the lessons that you're learning and help you retain the information better. Learning paths also cater to a range of experience levels so if you're a beginner or you're advanced there will be something for you. And if you do something completely different to me, it's fine because there are classes on everything, productivity, design, marketing, freelancing, and even specific tools like Procreate. And you won't be watching the same person all day long. Every class is led by a variety of different teachers so that you can start discovering new industry pros to learn from on your desired skill. If you guys are interested in joining Skillshare and taking these learning paths like I've been doing for the last few months, then you can check out the link below in the description and the first 500 people to use it will get an entire month free of Skillshare. I'm gonna get through as many of these classes as possible and make some notes on my laptop before I have to jump into a meeting at 11.30 a.m. already being said combine it with my opinion and kind of put all of the facts together so they know what's already out there being a high value woman isn't about you have to be at home and you shouldn't be working i try to when i talk about this topic i try to separate myself from that and i, I look at it more from a mindset and a confidence perspective because i think there's already a lot of talk out there about you have to have a millionaire boyfriend and that that was such an interesting meeting oh my manager's messaging me now I was in utter awe during the call. You express yourself so well. A very big British TV channel is releasing like, kind of like a documentary thing on the modern woman and how she empowers herself, her approach to dating. And a lot of it is going to be focused on this new trend of high value dating, high value men and women. And this woman who works for the channel obviously discovered me because I have a video about high value dating on my main channel that's got like a million views. Um, but I'm very happy to be found. So we scheduled a call today. She just told me a little bit more about what it would be. So they would kind of follow me around a day in the life of kind of how I spend my day, I, I suppose, to show the independent side of my life and how I balance everything while also interviewing me on TV about my views on dating, which can sometimes be controversial. So after that call, I don't know if I should do it. I'm telling myself just do it because who cares? Um, but I do have some controversial opinions. But you know what? I don't want them to be controversial. And maybe if I go on TV and I say them, it will influence the next generation for the better. So women start setting standards and putting men in their place. You know what? Yes. Depending on the timeline of filming, I might do it. It's still all up in the air. She wrote down all my answers and now she they still have to pitch it to the TV channel to see if they're going to pick it up. Now, let me look at my schedule. I need to do a one hour work block right now. I have some work to fill out for my managers. I have some YouTube videos to plan. I also have some tasks tax, income, business expense spreadsheets to fill out. So hopefully I could do that in the next hour and a half. Right after I'm gonna have lunch and head out to a cafe. Okay, all of that work is now complete and I just checked my email and I got um, an email back from a guy in London who I emailed about a particular apartment that would be amazing for me and my boyfriend to move into this June. Hi, yeah, it's Tam. 
Um, I won't be available then. Would you be free this evening? <sighs> I feel nervous. Honestly, all of my work breaks recently have just been on right move, looking at apartments, saving things, figuring out what kind of place we want in London. The sun is coming out a little bit, thank God. This is what I'm wearing. This is how you know that Tam is not in her regular routine because when do I ever step outside in joggers? We have bigger priorities. And I'm wearing a puffer jacket as well. Like guys, this isn't me. Let's go get lunch. <laughs> A very long work block complete I feel amazing so guys today is actually International Women's Day and it's slow productivity day meaning we're really putting effort into our self-care and self-love and so obviously I am gonna go and buy myself a bouquet of flowers Parcels. These are the flowers I got from the grocery store as well. If I show you in the light, like so cute. Since I've been so busy with working, I've also been really inactive with posting my stories, which is normally like a daily activity for me. So I'm actually, well, I have been documenting my entire day on Snapchat. So I'm just gonna share this as well. And it's cute, like you guys are responding and I'm getting to engage with you. We're balancing everything today. Like, I have actually posted a lot. We've got this spearmint tea, which you guys know um, I always drink. This aloe vera gel. The skin in me. Oh yeah, this is the moisturizer. And then in here will be the cleanser. I actually bought these. Honestly, I have really good feelings about these. Oh, okay, it's stuff I ordered from TikTok shop. So anytime you see me wearing false lashes, best believe it's gonna be from the brand Wildcat Lashes on tiktok shop they're so affordable i tried it out like last month two, no a few months ago now and i normally hate lashes because they don't suit my eyes but these ones do so i saw they had a new style and these are more like a half, half lash vibe which is better for my eye shape so i was like i have to try it and then um i bought the eyelash glue pen because i ran out of the one that i bought before so just topping up best eyelash glue ever makes putting your lashes on so easy because trust me i am not a pro when it comes to that and this last parcel i really don't know what this is let's see <gasps> this one is pr this is the most exciting pr ever because do you know who it's from sabia sachi it's from sabia Sabia so Sachi did um, a collab with Estee Lauder um, and they are coming out with lipsticks. Slay. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. They are priced at £53 a lipstick. I could pay my bills with these lipsticks. £53 a lipstick. No. It's so pretty. I'm not even a beauty blogger like that. Should I really sit here and swatch it for you guys? Do you even care? We're sat down. I think this is going to be a great little break before we get back into all of the work blocks. I don't know if you can see, but the detailing on this lipstick with the tiger that's imprinted onto it. Actually, I want to go for this. This one's a little bit more of a pinky nude brown. Here we go. Oh, she's creamy. Really nice, subtle scent. It reminds me of like a home candle. I would wear this every single day. I feel like it's not going to be matte because it's super soft on the lips. It's super comfortable to wear. 
I ordered some clothes for myself from House of CB and I haven't tried any of them on just because I've been working. So I thought I would show you guys what I bought and I really hope that everything just fits. I love their packaging now. Okay, first up, I got this top. Okay, I'm very excited for this. I did get this dress because I thought it's so versatile and can be worn day to night. And it comes with this corset around it and I love that it's sold separately and not attached to the dress because the way I could put this on anything. Okay, I got this dress purely because it intrigued me and there's a big chance I might return it because I don't even know. I low-key like this. It's hard to imagine because my hair and my glam isn't done. This is such a winner. I normally can't wear dresses like these because I have a smaller bust, but this fits me in all the right places. Bro, this is my fave. I might have to order this in all the colors. <gasps> Stop. This top is the worst thing ever invented in the world. Do not buy it. I just spent 40 minutes trying every single different way to get into it and I couldn't do it. I also had to cut the tag off it, the big rope thing that goes through it to get it on because it kept getting tangled because I really thought I would like it and I don't even know what it's going to look like on. Don't buy it. I'm going to have to make it work now because I can't return it but that was annoying and a waste of time. dinner ready i've already got chicken that's meal prepped but i'm just gonna cook some broccoli on the side of it chicken is in here and i've got a bunch of fresh chopped up broccoli in here every week when i do my food shop i get all the ingredients i chop everything up so it just saves me time during the week Hello? Hi, Tamana. Hi. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I just literally finished my beans now. But that was perfect because it was too bad. It had big windows. We liked the um, location of it as well. So the apartment guy just called me back literally the second as I just started eating. But I don't think we'll be able to get the apartment because they said that the landlord will not be removing any furniture from the apartment and we really need the bed to go. I think we're just gonna have to keep looking, which is sad and frustrating because I inquired about this place because it truly met all of our needs and it was so perfect. But I'm trusting the process and I'm like, this just means we're meant to be somewhere else. If we were meant to live there, we would and everything would be easy. But for now, I'm going to keep eating my dinner. Then I'm going to call my boyfriend so that we can discuss more apartment stuff together. I'm good. Just finished eating dinner and now I'm having a bit of dark chocolate. And then I'm going to get back to work for the rest of the evening. What about you? Yes! <laughs> sorting out apartment stuff. We were actually on the phone looking at more properties together, which was good. It feels like we're making progress. And then did I spend like an hour, hour and a half just scrolling on my phone when I should have been working? A little bit, yes. And in my defense, I started doing that because I was like, I need a break. I've been vlogging all day and I've been working and I've been juggling all these things I need a break you know this will be good and I can come back to my work and feel a bit more refreshed and feel like I have more control of my time I went a little bit overboard with it but it's fine because I snapped out of it I obviously needed it and I realized the reason I took such a long break which is not normally not what I would do like all week I've actually been on it is because I was just dreading coming back to book writing because it's not a matter of not having motivation. I can deal with that and just put myself in it. I feel like right now I don't have the capacity. Maybe it's all the late nights this week. Maybe it's just the hectic day I've had. Um, Cause normally every single day I'm in a very clean like headspace. So what I'm gonna do instead is edit the vlog that I filmed the other day, which is gonna go out this week because I was supposed to do that tomorrow morning anyway. So if I just do that now, then it means the book writing I'm not doing now, I could do in the morning and I feel great. I love editing. Editing's easy, editing takes less 
energy away from me i'm gonna put something like maybe a youtube video on in the background just to feel a little bit like i have control and relaxation in my evenings which i really don't one person i do like watching on youtube is molly may do you know why she's just i just like her she just gives me good vibes and i haven't watched her videos in maybe a year or something so i'm gonna stick that on down and just talking to the camera we are making progress i've just been sat here i've got some molly may vlogs in the back i think i've been working on this for maybe like hour hour and a half but essentially i had two hours of footage i've now whittled it down to one hour i need to trim off maybe another 30 minutes 20 minutes just to get it down to like a 30 or 40 minute vlog these are the vibes it's a q a like life update chatty personal get ready with me video i'm actually really liking it i am literally so sleepy but the vlog isn't done so we're not going to sleep yet i am going to make myself a tea these are the vibes late night work this is what my life looks like pretty much every single evening this month minus the youtube video this is a very new edition just finished it i have officially already set myself up to have a really good day tomorrow where i can just focus on book writing and just stay in that mode um but yeah this is where i'm gonna say good night so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did comment down below let me know what you liked because i always read it so i can improve my vlogs and i appreciate you guys so much thank you so much to those of you who watch this channel and care about what i get up to that's like mind-blowing to me um i will see you same time next week on sunday for a brand new vlog i appreciate you bye